Torrential rains overnight in Belize City have proven difficult for residents who are still recovering from the devastating effects of Hurricane Earl. Across the old capital, there are houses that are yet to be visited by the National Emergency Management Organization post the natural disaster. One such residence is the Magazine Road home of Marie Vernon. The severe weather system damaged the roof of her two-story abode, causing water from the Tuesday night downpour to leak into her rooms. After Hurricane Earl, I believe living just like how you see me as I am now. I need help because my roof has been broken and I got some leak in which I needed help. And I got one friend of mine telling me about Nemo and he tell me, give me a number to call Nemo, which I did. And I got in touch with Mr. Willoughby from the Nemo, which he is a very good man and he is seeking help to help me. That formal assistance is yet to come. For now, CIMO coordinator Philip Willoughby, accompanied by a contractor, are visiting the home of the elderly woman to see how best they can help in addressing her immediate needs. The roof over Vernon's head is faulty and she has had to buttress the ceiling with a mop broom supported from below by a bathtub which also collects the dripping water. We have visited with Miss Vernon, I think, on three occasions prior to the contractor now being here and that contractor will now put this, um, the, t the two tarps on the roof um, covering the room that you just um, saw um, personally up front and, and close. So this is being done for several um, homeowners once they're on that list and they meet the, the requisite requirements. You have been doing your runs since this morning. What are some of the areas that you have observed in light of last night's rain that need uh, immediate attention? As in the city or the, the um, information, you know, with the below sea level front, um, point blank. Um, last night rain, this morning rains came with a high tide. So you know that would have created um, uh, excessive um, inundation of water across the city. So what the sanitation manager briefed me was we need to get and clean the drains and culverts in those hot spots areas, hot spot areas across the city. Vernon's home may not fall within the ambit of that CITCO initiative, but the much needed assistance to help her brave the rains is going a long way. Talk to us about how you were able to hold up in all that rain overnight. Well, I just have to accept it, that's all, and set my pan or whatever it is to catch the water, and I don't worry about it because I know I will get help from the Nemo, which they did, and they brought me some stuff, put on the, the top, till such time they're ready for the work. A schedule for work to commence on Vernon's home has been created. She joins a list of residents who are still awaiting long-term assistance from the National Emergency Management Organization. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayatano.